Hi guys, my name is Melissa. You can call me Mel for short. So for some of you that is a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any of the videos. So today's topic, I want to be talking about sunscreen. If you look here on the board here, it's explained to you why is sunscreen is bad for the environment. Yeah. So sunscreen is what you use when swimming, diving, and snorkeling, yeah? So yeah, there is a chemical compound that found in the sunscreen. So when you're wearing a sunscreen while in the water, it can wash off and enter the water which could harm the coral, okay? So this chemical has been shown to cause bleaching, harm coral DNA, interfere with coral reproduction, in lab-based studies, okay? You can prevent harmful chemicals entering the ocean by using reef-safe sunscreen and cover up in the sun. So you guys, think about like, if you really, really need the sunscreen if you are diving. So personally, myself, we know that we're getting in water, the sun cannot pass through the water so we be in the water where for me personally I do not wear any sunscreen but if I teach confined a lot where especially we have to do a lot of skills on surface either you can wear an eco-friendly um, sunscreen here it is from USA is Beja okay so it is definitely reef safe and is organic and basically it's natural uh, minerals inside, yeah? So you want to put the sunscreen an hour before you enter the water so that you don't wash it away, okay? So, and the other one that I usually take, like let's say for example, like days that I do not want to take a sunscreen, I also want to suggest you this brand here, Helio Care. I found this out about um, like a few years ago about this brand. It's good to protect you from the um, ultra UV for your face. So it's a definitely a good uh, medication that I've been taking it a lot, especially like you see the frowny on my face here because I always do that looking at the water um and it's the sun beaming on it so you always tend to do that a lot so for me um either you can purchase this online read about it yeah about helio care make sure you get the original one because a lot of stuff out there is basically it's not original so if you want to check that out it's also also good okay so don't forget to get like an eco-friendly basically sunscreen to put on your body all right so as us here at the dive center we always have this on our leisure dive paperwork so if you have dived with us before i am not sure if you read the pledge of tdc so basically tdc tiaman dive center that i'm working at right now which is I'm very proud of it and this is why I love it so much because it's an eco-friendly dive centers and again we're number one in the world about breathing so we produce quality dive training we practice uh, safe diving practices yeah we provide comfort friendly services and the most importantly what I'm trying to say here is we conserve the environment so what are you pledging when you dive with us here yeah. okay Number one, please refrain from using sunscreen less than one hour before entering the water because again, the sunscreen has been shown to damage corals and other marine life. So if you're interested in safe sunscreen, please ask us. So basically, we provide this. So we try, this is why the note here, we use it sparingly because we share it if really need it, okay? Because some people, they do need the sunscreen because they really burn like burn and it's so painful for them so yeah um, either you take the helio care it's also good for it so you can read about it uh, review on it or the sunscreen okay eco sunscreen okay and basically what else are you pledging here we do not litter the beach 
okay, the sea or the dive center, resort grounds, or anywhere in Tioman Island, please take ple uh, special care of your cigarette butts. Because again, cigarette butt is so ridiculously crazy when we do beach cleanup. It's ridiculous. So if you are a smoker, please, I suggest you to buy this like a little keychain. It's like made out of like aluminum, like a tin. You just click on it, it pops out so you can just throw your cigarette butts in it. So you just bring that portable ashtray and it compact, it's reusable and that it's also recycled material, you can check that out, okay? So please think about your trash. Where does it go? Especially your cigarette butts. Don't just dump it out on the floor, please, please. Okay, if you're a diver yourself and you do that, that's kind of like oh, insane, insane, insane. So if you smoke on the boat, right? Have a, a like a bottle or something like that and have spill up with water, to put your cigarette butts or the dive center, please think about that for a boat dive trip where the smokers can throw their cigarette butts and smoke during surface interval. But yeah, anyway, all right, so think about that. And then we do not chase or harass the fishes or turtles, yeah, because the turtles do get stressed when you tend to swim on top of them. So you always want to be to the side of them and say hello first to the turtle. You do not want to stress them out because they do have this behavior of committing suicide if they're stressed. So uh, if you want to know more about that, I will definitely make a video on that particular about turtles later on in the future. It is one of my uh, topic for the um, video. Okay. So, uh, okay, do not touch anything under the water with any parts of your body or extensions of it, okay? Like fins, pointers, okay? A lot of people tend to have pointers to actually just push towards the coral or having a pointer and flip the cucumber to find shrimp, okay? So don't do that. Do not harass things, okay? If you want to look at shrimp, maybe you look at the sea fans, you know? So, or the sleeper corals okay so yeah don't touch things don't flip things they are animals yeah so that's kind of rude it's so annoyingly like if for example a person like touch you like on your cheek oh my god you're so adorable you you know they pinch your cheeks and and all over you and touching you don't you get annoyed right don't you especially with the covid right now you don't want people to touch you, right? Majority of you, except for your family members, right? So please, respect the marine life. Don't touch them, don't harass them, okay? Please, all right? So, and then we apply, okay, so basically we, what's next? Do not collect anything that is living or dead, especially man-made objects, yeah? So we do not collect anything under the water. Please respect the corals, yeah? Don't take anything that is dead, that thinks beautiful. Oh, it's just, it's dead anyway, Mel. We're gonna keep it. We wanna keep it. Uh, we wanna make an ashtray out of it, or we wanna put it in the bathroom, this and that. So you actually telling other people to also feel like they want it too. So they tend to take shells of the sea. So the hermit crabs don't have any home. So please, um, again, uh, if you don't know about it, I'm so sorry, um, please stop doing that. Collecting things uh, from the sea, please only take photos, leave bubbles only. Do not collect anything, okay? I don't either like recommend you to buy like necklaces or um, a bracelet that make out of shells so yeah because again you know um, you encourage people to um, have it themselves so the demand is that so things like triton snails are no longer in the sea yeah so and they are the one that eat the crown of thorn so now crown of thorn is overpopulated because there's no triton snail because it's been sell off in the souvenir store and then people buy it the demand is there so again please you know i'm hoping if you watch this video um if you have done it before again please forgive yourself on that part because now you know and i'm hoping that you do some action and show love to the uh, marine love and respect them okay 
all right so please always always have a good buoyancy control especially divers that with camera they always always like they take pictures like they think that they are on land like walking so you need to stay streamlined you need to stay streamlined and you angle up the foot like the camera angle up like that you know you don't like stand up and just do that and then your finning and stuff like that is all out so let me show it to you like this position right here cameras people do that if you have a camera do this streamline your camera is the one that angle up you do not angle up just because to take that photo and you ended up like this position you see that destroying things okay look at this guy so if you are wanting to take a lot more pictures in the water and if you've been doing that a lot please think about like getting a peak performance buoyancy specialty course maybe and do a few multiple dive to just fix on your buoyancy more so then you can you know hover upside down you know taking pictures more stably you know zooming in and zooming out from your breathing instead of playing with the camera so much trying to look at the camera how to zoom in and zoom out so you're doing so many things in the water and then you ended up like looking at the camera not looking at where your body is touching okay all right and of course we have a plate here please do not take offense if we remind you of any of this above including this video so again please i, I the purpose of the video is to educate people not to bash you or anything like that so i know something and i want to spread the love so i'm hoping that if you are wanting to spread the video so of course you welcome to do that okay so thank you so much you guys for watching mel scuba world and again don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the video do check under the description below to find more um related diving videos okay eco-friendly stuff and facts bye